Hello everyone, Alan R.C. Do. Just want to show y'all a little quick upgrade that I'm doing to my little uh, rampage from my boxing. I put these little metal drive shafts on that I got in. I did the one side already. They come with these little little plastic drive shafts. I'm gonna keep them, they're still good. I just wanted to upgrade. I can put different tires on it. It's real simple. I also got a, a little fan. That'll be another video. I got some shocks to put on it. And all fill shocks. That'll be another video. And I'm gonna do a light upgrade to it. That'll be a different video. Today I'm just doing this. A little Little dry shafts. I like them because it's like the old style. You can put the little screw on it, the little nut on the end. The other one, you can do that. So these were the original tires. I took them off, put them out the way. And, uh, it's real simple. On the front, all you do is get a little screw on the top right here. Yeah, you got the screw on the top right here. And you got one on the bottom. Right there. All you do is you just take those two screws out. It's real easy. Take them out. Now watch them little... I got some little bushings in there. Don't lose those little bushings. They come out with the, the little screw. Put that off to the side. And just take the top one out. Real simple. Get that out of the way. And all I did was twist it out of the way. Just take it. Just grab it. It comes right out. Just move it out of the way. Just pop that out of the way. And you just... Take your dry shaft, pop it right out, comes right out. And sometimes the little uh, bearing comes off with it. Slide the little bearing off, grab your new one, slide the little bearing back on it. There's two bearings in there, the other one stayed right here. And all you do is, whoop. So the bearing stays on there. And you got a little cup inside right here. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. You got a little white cup in there. It's your drive cup where your dry shaft goes. A little white cup in there. And all you do is take this end right here and it slides right in there. Take it, go through your thing right there. You have to line it up and just put it right on in there. See it? It just goes right in. That's it. Slide it in. Good to go. Oh, I'm to find my bearings now. Oh, it's on there. Okay. And you just take it. Take this piece that you slid off, slide it back on, you're good to go. You see it? Line your little holes up. Get your screw. Easy as can be. Not to take everything out, just to change them. Let's screw it back in place. And up your top hole. That's easy, huh? Quick, easy little upgrade. Put your top one back on. That's it. 
Now don't put your screws too tight. You may be able to tell, or you, if you put them too tight, you squeeze the plastic, and you string your servo. So you get them a little snug in there, and you're good to go. That's it. Easy as can be. Take your tar, and you got some little uh, pins that come with it too, with the little kit. Little tiny, tiny pins. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's small. And you got a hole in this little shaft right there. You just take that little pin and put it in there. And that's what holds your, your little hex nut on there. You just line it up. Show fall in place. Just like that. That's it. That's on there. You take your tar. Take your tar back on. That's it. You get to go on that one. You get a little nut. A little nut driver. Awesome little upgrade. And then it gives some uh, Get it stored in. Same thing with the tar. Don't over tighten the tar. You'll be able to tell. If you put the tar too tight, she won't. Uh, it'll be hard for it to turn. Leave it on there and listen to That's it. I might put me a little lock tight on it so that nut don't come over. That's it. Good to go. Nope. And do the back one. The back one is just as easy. My little screwdriver. This one you got a little nut right here, a little screw. Right here on the top. Where your arm's at. You just take that one out. Right there. Real easy. And it's gonna fall that way. Use your little, your little, little screw. And all you do, this piece right here, you move the little arm out, do you? This little piece right here, just pull it out. Comes right out. Pull your dry shaft out. That's the old one. You get the new one. It's simple. Put her in there. That's it. The same thing in the back. You had that little cup. Put your drive cup right here. And just put the arm in it. Like that. Just shove it in there. It goes right in. And you take your little screw and put your little screw back. And you're done. And just line it up. Keep it in there, it's a little trick. Put something in it. There we go. No. Just line your little, little screw back up in there. That's it. Awesome little upgrade. Now you got metal dry shafts. Put it on, good to go. Ta da! All metal. All the way around. Get the tar. Same thing on this side. Got that little pin that you gotta get. And don't lose any little pins. <laughs> Take that little bitty tiny pin right there. Put and just push it through the hole. Find a little hole. That's it. Put it in. Take your little hex nut. Make sure it sits on there right. Come on, put a little booger. 
그러네다시이러네생생제기다고라이로우이티너어서내업그린And then it started on there. Yeah. 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 I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. There you go. That's awesome. There we go. Oh, metal drive shafts now and then. Awesome. Now the rims, they came off my little 8979B. That's why they're red. I might go ahead and paint them black later on. Oh, and I want to show y'all. These little arms right here. You can get them uh, as adjust as your toe in and toe out. You can get them. They're real cheap. I just didn't order me none yet. But what I did for the time being... And it works, and it don't make the plastic weak either. I just took my little, a little heat to it, warm them up. Now don't overheat it. You warm them up, and then you just stretch them a little bit at a time on each end. And then you just pull, warm it up in the middle all the way around, and just pull on it. And it stretches them. And my truck was sitting like that while my tires was towed out. No, it's not to it out no more. I stretched them and it, it pushed them back in like that. It's pretty cool. Now she drives a whole lot better. So if she don't have the little parts to to adjust, just do it like that. Real simple. A little heat, stretch it, good to go. You can do the same thing with the with the camber on the top and bottom like that. Good. That's the little upgrade. That's the tar that was on it. So, it ain't much bigger, but it's a little bit bigger. And look a little taller. A little wider. It's pretty awesome. Now she looks like a little monster truck. Alright. Yep. Good to go. So, I want to appreciate all my subscribers and everybody that watches my video. Y'all really appreciate it. Uh, that's it. It's real easy and simple. Quick. Alright, y'all. Everybody have a safe and blessed day out there. Be careful what y'all do. Alright. Island RC Duke. Out.